Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Whatever time it is, it is morning and the weekend in my garage, and it is a beautiful day. So, I want to get a project knocked out. Today, I'm going to be working on brakes. On this GY6 scooter, or any type of scooter, motorcycle, you're going to have the same parts. And if you have a problem with your brakes, hopefully I can show you a good, quick tutorial on how to um, troubleshoot and figure out what's wrong with them. So what's going on with my brakes? I'm engaging the brakes and I'm getting zero. Nothing. As you can see it's very loose. Now on most motorcycles, scooters, GY6 engines, whatever it is, it's going to be pretty much the same setup. You're going to have the handle right here that's going to engage and disengage the brakes. You have the reservoir. This handle is actually pumping the fluid down to the brakes. So when you engage this, you pressurize the fluid, hits the brakes, and it engages them onto the caliper. But this is no bueno. Now checking the fluid in the reservoir is super easy. All you need to do is remove the cap and see what's going on inside. On mine I should have a gasket or a kind of a film and a visual inspection of this shows that it's not rotted, it's not cracked, so I should be getting a good seal and open this up and I have fluid in the reservoir and it looks pretty clean it looks good so I'm gonna have to go from here and see what else could be the problem now that I know my reservoir is good I have no obstructions I need to see if there's any obstructions coming from the line down to the brake so I'm gonna do a visual inspection this was good I can come underneath and you can't see it here but here's that line right there and I'm looking underneath and I'm not seeing anything line looks good there's no kinks there's nothing that is pressing up against it now coming down to the brake I can run myself up the line and I see it all looks good no obstructions little clamp is looking good I can run up into the body and see the same thing hopefully you saw that too so from the brake reservoir down to here to the brakes we're good so now I know if she's gonna be in here so the first thing I'm gonna do since I know I need to work on this thing is hit it with some carb cleaner and that's just because it's so much easier working on a clean part than on a dirty part so I'm just gonna hit it up with some cleaner wipe it it's not going to be sparkling clean, but at least it's going to be a little bit cleaner to work on and easier to see things. So from here, we're going to have to go ahead and take off these two bolts that hold the caliper assembly onto this wheel. And that's just going to be a 10 millimeter bolt. And I'm just going to rattle gun them right out. So now, this brake assembly is free. So I can look over here on this side and see, yeah, I do have good pads. They're not the best, but the pads, they're not falling off. Freely moving. These are freely moving also, so they should be able to float. But again, they're not closing. So next, I'm going to have to remove this banjo bolt, and the brake fluid is going to run out. But I can see if there's an obstruction in the line, and if there isn't, that means there is an obstruction somewhere in here. Alright, so what I did, threaded these back on so I get some good leverage. And now I'm just going to have to use my ratchet with a little bit of bunch strength and break it free. And as you can see, the brake fluid's running out really good. So, it's already telling me at this banjo nut. And not on the line. So I will just pull this up. You want to be very careful with brake fluid. Because it eats away at paint like nothing. So I'll let that drain out. I'll just fill it with new fluid and go ahead and pull off this brake caliber assembly again.
Uh, this is off. Let's go ahead and take it over to the bench and figure out what the problem is. Now with the assembly on the bench, it is going to be a lot easier to work on this. So same thing as last time, we're just going to hit it with some brake clean or some carburetor cleaner, not brake cleaner. And we just want to get some of this dust off. I want to be careful with the plastics right here. This is where the float pin goes. Float pin goes over here also, number two or number one, however you want to look at it. But I just want to clean it off a little bit just so I can see it a lot easier. So to get these pads out, unlike cars where you can just pop them out, on this type of assembly, you have to remove these two screws so that you can get back in there and pull them out. So once again, super easy. And pin number two. Super easy. And see, they fall right out. And from here I can definitely see it is my pistons right here that are seized up. These right here. They should be able to freely move backwards, but they're not. Something definitely got to them. You can see the inside, some good gunk in there. Nothing too bad. So what I need to do is clean it up. Well, it seems to be working, and now I can press these back in. Number one pressed in. And number two, same as the first. All I have to do is just very slight pressure, and the piston goes right back in. All right, so they're not seized. That's a good thing. They do move with a little bit of pressure. We'll finish cleaning this up, put it back together, and see if that solved the problem. Now that I got the assembly piece all together, I can go ahead and put it back onto the actual bike. So I'm just going to thread them right in. Pads go in between the rotor. And then I'm going to insert the bolts, hand tighten them at first because I don't want to cross thread these bad boys because that could easily make this project a real pain in the butt. So you got to make sure it's going on nice and straight. Yeah. And from here I can just rattle gut it now. Being very careful. And there we go. So I cleaned out the brake assembly. I um, bred the brakes, refilled the reservoir. Well, refilled the reservoir, then bled the brakes. And they feel awesome. Very tight. I can see them or feel them pushing up against that uh, rotor. So, what was the issue? I don't know. Maybe it was that uh, grease that was stuck on there that was binding up the pistons. Maybe it needed just a good cleaning. Maybe one of the float pins wasn't um, bloating properly. I don't know, but a good cleaning, a good rebuild, and they feel good as new. So hopefully that helps somebody out. Very easy to do. Just take a little bit of time, probably about, I'd say about two hours altogether with doing the video. So it's a very easy thing. So before you take yours into a shop, just try cleaning it out real quick. It just might need just a little TLC. So with that, as always, thank you for watching. I appreciate everything you guys do. And as I always say, drive safe, ride safe, and keep at least two wheels on the road.